Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, I'm going to do a Zara try on haul. I think I have seven new pieces for you guys. Took a lot of returning because the sizing as always at Zara is pretty off. And then I'm gonna show you one new piece of skim swimwear. I'll tell you what I think. I'll save that till the end. Um, so first thing, um, so most of this stuff will be for like summer or vacation coming up. So first thing I wanted a pair of like heels that go with everything just to pack in my suitcase normally for like beach vacations i only like to take one pair of shoes just that match everything so my go-to vacation heels in the past were these clear acrylic heels from zara they were like a kind of like a chunky block heel not too high they went with everything they were so comfy they were amazing unfortunately i took them out of the closet and they were really yellow. So that material over time, unfortunately, it does tend to do that, even though they weren't in direct sunlight or anything like that. So they were so bad, I couldn't even donate them. I had to unfortunately throw them out. And I looked on their website. They don't make the exact same pair. They have a higher heel version. I'll put it up here. I ordered that. They were a bit too high for me. Like I'm 5'9", and it really made me too tall. Also to the first strap, I would say that they do fit true to size if you are interested in them. Just the first strap was a bit too loose and my foot is a little bit wide, but I felt like they made the first strap too big. So it didn't really secure your foot in. So I just felt like, you know, your feet are not secure. You could easily trip or the shoe just might come off when you're wearing it. So I sent those ones back. Then I ordered this blue pair, which I thought were really cute and i had the opposite problem they were a little bit too narrow for my feet and i felt the strap it was a little too short so you really had to squish your foot in i could tell though again they were true to size and i could tell they would be very comfy if you have a narrow foot but if you have a wide foot don't get that um, so then brings me to this pair of shoes that I'll show you. This is a little more than I would typically spend on a Zara shoe. They have these in the cream color that I'm going to show you as well as black. They were 119 Canadian, but they're from their premium line. Um, they smelled like really nice leather when I took them out of the box. And yeah, they look like this. They come in this cream color and also a black. I wish the heel was a little bit blockier. I just find sometimes like if you're walking on like cobblestone or uneven ground, it can be a little wobbly, but because it's not very high, it's it's not too bad. Um, I do have, like I said, a little bit of, of a wider foot. This is perfectly fine. This is really soft and squishy. It has aerosol, I think that's what they call it. So it's like squishier padding there. And then the straps are pretty long and it has like a little buckle there to do it up. There's a four, sorry, five holes punched. So sometimes, cause I don't have skinny legs, sometimes these straps don't work out, but this works perfectly fine. When I first tried them on the day I got them, I had black leggings on and I thought it looked actually really nice if you do the straps up over pants as well. So I would really recommend these. And like I said, they have the black and the cream. So next up, I got a black ruched rib skirt. So I got the size medium in this. Uh, originally, I ordered the size large. It was way too big. I got the medium. Um, the body of it fits fine. I would say even the waistband, I could have got the size small. So definitely in this, take your true size or size down. Um, so yeah, I sent the large back. I don't know, this is really gross, but when this came, um, and I can't really take it back. So I had no tag on it, the medium. So I was like, oh, that's great. So somebody else has already, you know, tried this on at home. It had blonde hair all over it. And then it looked like pet hair, like white pet hair. I was like, that's so disgusting. So I did already wash it. I just find when I went back online, I couldn't find this skirt. I was going to reorder another medium because I was like, ooh, I don't want this one. But um, I couldn't find it. So I find lately with Zara's website, if you see something that you like, but your size is not in stock, just keep checking because the sizes are going in and out of stock. It's really bizarre lately. So this has some nice ruching on the sides. I think actually they have this skirt in a dress version as well. This was only 20 some dollars. It was very affordable and it has a slit there. It's just like a nice kind of like midi, mermaid skirt and it goes with anything um nice to take on holiday can wear it for dinner 
or throw it over your swim. Next up, I have two more skirts. So this one is called the Apple Green Ruched Mini Skirt, and I believe it was $45.90, and it has a zipper in the back. I really like it. You can make it shorter up at the sides by pulling the strings, but I actually prefer it the length that it is. It's very flattering. I find this drapey fabric, like it really camouflages any little lumps or bumps. And yeah, it just, it fits perfect. I thought the color was really beautiful for a holiday. And yeah, I just really liked it. I believe they also had a pink in this if you like it. Okay, and then one more skirt that I got. This one is called the Purple Draped Midi Skirt. I got the size large and I really like how it fits. And it's almost like a mermaid skirt. How much was it? It was $55.90 Canadian, so a little bit more, but I really liked the color. Um, it has, the only thing I will say, which this kind of is like indicative of cheap clothing, I really wish Zara would put that little clasp at the top of their skirt because it really helps you get into it. I might actually get um, at the dry cleaner, maybe they can just add one of those. Um, it just makes it easier to do it up. And I will say the zipper on this one, just because the zipper goes down where the ruching is, it's a little bit hard to get up, but once you do it, it does look very nice. So this is kind of like, um, almost like three quarter length on me and it has the slit there. And again, because it is that drapey fabric, I just find it very flattering and it's like a purpley blue color. Um, it is a little bit brighter even in real life. So I thought that was really nice again for vacation or for summer. Next up, I got a blouse. This one was $45.90 Canadian. I got the size large just because I feel because I have a bigger chest, a lot of the stuff at Zara um, that is cropped in the front, if I go to the medium, it's just, I don't know, it's almost like showing under boob. So I definitely needed the large for my chest and it is a little bit longer in the back and I'll show you when I have it on. It kind of looks cute, like from the side, the back, it almost like puffs out a little bit when you're wearing it. I just thought this was a good basic. I don't know, I'm not like 100% in love with it. I just kind of envisioned that it would look a little bit different, but I'll try it on for you. Let me know your opinion. But I do think for a lot of people, this would be a good basic, but I might keep looking if I happen to see something else. But I feel like, yeah, for that price, it's pretty good. So the next top I'm going to show you, I actually, one of the days when I returned a pair of the shoes, I saw this as I was heading out the door and they had a few different colors. I picked one up. I did make a mental note that it looked like it fit really small though. So I wanted this a little bit oversized. So I actually, because I think the shirt I pulled up off the rack was a large and I remember thinking like that looks really tiny for a large. And um, actually it was funny, there was one, uh, there was a lady in there and she was very petite, like I'm pretty like big for a woman I feel, um, just like my height, my stature, but there was like a really petite woman in there. She probably didn't even weigh a hundred pounds and she like pulled out a tank top. She's like, is this the kids section? And then I was laughing. I was like, no, but I'm like, I was actually thinking the same thing. Like everything looks like it's fitting quite small. Um, it does go up one more size to like an XXL. So just keep that in mind. This was $49.90 and it is, I will say too though, before I show you this, if you like this, but you're not really a fan of Zara, um, check at Dynamite because they had a top very similar. So this was, I'll undo that. So it's a really nice satiny blouse. I kind of wanted it loose and billowy. That's why I got the XL. And then it has strings, so you can just tie it around your waist and in the back. Um, if you had a really tiny waist, you can probably loop it around a couple times, but I liked it. It does have a shoulder pad here, which I find in the black you can't notice. So they also had like a, um, kind of like a muted lime green color that I also ordered. For some reason though, that color, it looked really, really bad on me. It kind of washed me out and the shoulder pads were really visible and it looked really cheap. And I think they had sewn the shoulder pads into the green one wrong. It just, it did not look good. Like, like I said, Zara is really hit and miss, but the black, I really, I find flattering. And again, I feel like it will look good with those skirts that I just showed in the back looks like that one last thing from Zara then I'll show you the skims swimwear so this dress um, when I did order it online 
there was only one size available XL. I would have normally got a large in their dresses. I just find if your curvy Zara is not really your friend, so always, if in doubt, size up. So they only had the XL and I was thinking too, I'm like, oh, maybe I won't mind if it's a little bit big and then I can belt it. So it is a bit big on me, but I actually like it. And um, I have like this chain belt that I just got and I think it will look really nice with it. And it almost reminds me of like a Jacques Mew inspired dress. So this was that XL, but if you want your true size, if you don't want it oversized, just I would say stick with your true size. So it was $59.90. It's a bright orange shirt dress. Um, yeah, even when I'm showing it, I can tell it's a, it was like a bit big through the waist here, but when I belt it, it will be fine. Um, yeah, and it's just like a perfect length, kind of has like that tulip um, skirt on it. The back is just fine. The only thing I feel I could have done without, um, I don't know, I think they thought they were trying to do something here with the sleeve, you see? Like, they kind of made like a detail there. It's not a big deal, but I'm like, nah, I don't really love it. But other than that, though, I think, um, again, for holiday or for summertime, it was really nice. Okay, now on to the skim swimwear. So we all know, um, I mean, if you've ordered anything from Skims or if you've watched videos, Skims, for the most part, I have loved everything I got. It's just the sizing is really off. Like, I, I would say if in doubt with most things, you have to size up. Um, like I have a lot of their bras in an XL and when it comes it's like this big and um, Just for reference right now And I recently bought some like good quality bras the other day and I'm a 36 D right now in the past I would go between like a 34 D 36 D. I just feel cuz I'm like I have extra um, like body fat right now. So my boobs did get a little bit bigger. I feel like over COVID So right now I am a 36 D so I'll be honest, I was really excited when I heard Skims was gonna make swimwear. Like I was really expecting to be like blown out of the water, but I'll be honest, when I looked at it, I wasn't really that impressed with anything. The only reason I did order this um, was just because I needed like, I would say like one or two um, swimsuits just to go away. I shouldn't have ordered what I did. I think it was just because that was the only thing left. Um, so I am i don't even know if I can return swimwear. I mean, I kept all my clothing on. I tried it on over top. So um, I'll have to look online, but I'm gonna say I'm not a fan. So I'll tell you what I ordered. So I went on the website early. Pretty much everything was already sold out. So typically in swimwear, I always, my whole life, like even if I'm really fit, I have to get a large. So I would have normally ordered a size large. In my head though, I was thinking, I was like, oh, maybe in the top I should size up because I find her bras fit a little bit small. But then it said on her website, like, oh no, like swimwear runs true to size. And it said she wears a size small, which I don't know, tell me if you guys think that's a little bit bullshit because I feel like she has a pretty big chest and her butt is way, way bigger than like most people. I'm like, how does she wear a size small? Maybe, maybe it's just because she's really short, I'm really tall, but um, I don't know. I just, I have a hard time thinking she's a size small in this top. I ordered the swim triangle top and the swim dipped tie bottoms. When I went on, the smallest size available was an XL. Everything smaller than that had sold out. I really wanted the cobalt blue color. It really, I thought online on the model, it almost looked more like an electric blue color. I'll be honest, I shouldn't have ordered this top. I am not a fan of these tops. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was just wanting a new bathing suit for holiday. And um, even though like, you can at on like cheapy websites get swimwear very affordable but i will say a lot of um swimwear sites it's like a hundred and some dollars per piece so this is the one thing on the skims website i feel it is priced pretty reasonably especially for it being skims and comparable to other swimwear brands um so this is the top so this is the xl when i took it out i was like this looks really small for an xl um, I'll, 
I'm not sure if I can show this online just because all my, in the past, any swimwear video I make, it gets demonetized. So I'll see if I feel comfortable showing this, but just know, so I'm, like I said, a 36D. My boobs are spilling out of this. I think even, I don't know, I feel I could have definitely, I would definitely need a 2X. I could probably even wear a 3X in this. So that's a little bit crazy to me. Um, I'll be honest, this just kind of looks like a basic bitch bikini. Um, you could get something like this if you live in Canada at Garage Clothing. They have actually good swimwear that's very cheap or like that cheap store Arden, Arden. Um, This does not feel, I was really hoping it would be like really good quality. Um, it's not supportive. It's just honestly nothing special about it. And then the bottom is what I was nervous about just because the XL, I was like, mm, like normally I would get a size large. It, it looked when I pulled it out, it looked really too big and it, and it is. Um, so here's the bottom. This is the XL. I'll be honest. Like I would probably need a large or even a medium I probably wouldn't mind in it just for how I like it to fit I find um even if I have a smaller bottom it actually looks better on my body the back of it I don't know it I think it's because it's too big it comes up really high and I just feel there's too much extra fabric and I think this would have looked better if it was like a thong bikini because it's almost the type of material and cut if you have a big butt or like wider butt kind of like me I feel like when you start walking it's gonna want to turn into a thong but then it's just gonna have like a bunch of bunched up fabric again like it looks okay I mean I don't mind it but it's just it's nothing special um on me I really had to tie um the sides as tight as they will go and it still felt too big in the back so I'm not sure if I can return this um like I said I did try it on over undergarments and like I've just showered and everything but I don't know it has the lining in it I don't know though if that's gross to return I don't know if I can return it or not so if you're around my size I would have needed at least at least the 2x in this top um, I find with this one your boobs kind of spilling out over the top or you have under boob which some people like I just think it looks sloppy like it's not doing anything it's not flattering for me and you know what this is just a lesson I should not order tops like this my chest is just too big and then this I can it just doesn't feel like anything special this is just like a cheapy bathing suit you could get anywhere so I'm really not impressed maybe some of the other cuts of the swimwear will look or fit a little bit better but honestly it doesn't feel like anything special um if you're expecting it to feel like the fits everybody material or whatnot um i don't know it's just it's nothing special in my opinion so if i can return this i will return it i would not recommend this it's just nothing it's just nothing special so each piece was 48 dollars canadian shipping was i think 10 dollars. so it came to with tax and everything 118 canadian and actually like for swimwear swimwear for whatever reason is usually a hundred dollars a piece if you get it off like a nice website so I guess for skims that's not too bad of a price but honestly I feel like this is stuff you could buy you know at a cheapy store for like 10 or 20 dollars a piece so now I guess I still have to order another swimsuit for a holiday if you guys have any recommendations if you're curvy like me or you have a bigger chest can you please let me know where to get swimwear like I have thought for years even when I was younger and my chest wasn't really that big i still would have to like usually order the size large and i always thought like what do if you're really big or have like a really really big chest where do you get swimwear like i don't really know so yeah please let me know if you have any good recommendations um yeah and like always guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it please consider subscribing and commenting bye